ladies and gents, welcome, welcome. Seventh of July, beautiful, hot, sunny day. It's Friday afternoon, and I'm just walking around Liverpool Street, Spitalfields Market. And now I'm gonna head to Hoxton area. Now let me turn around this way. Wow, look at all these bushes in the area. Okay, I'll try to get myself back in the shade, to be honest. Maybe not here, but soon. It's very hot. It's around 29 degrees today. This is a doggish. I can't call it fluffy puppy. That's a doggish. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now we are here in the daytime, so I feel brave compared to when I was here at 10, 11 p.m. the other day, a few weeks ago. So let's check out the, the art here. Let me turn around slowly back here because I missed this one. I only see it from this angle here. It's a face. Oh, there's a queen with Corgi.
poor corgi. Okay, let me slowly turn around this way. Boyfriend still here. Always hairy, always scary. Wow, that's nice. Turn around and go back on the main road. <coughs> Sorry, guys. There is something in the air. Love is in the air, as I always say. I'm allergic. <laughs> Tomorrow is uh, Brighton Pride Parade. I went last year. I'm lazy to go this year, to be honest, guys. I'm lazy. It only attracts bad comments from people. It doesn't get a lot of views on my channel. It's hot as hell, usually. Oh, tomorrow is gonna be storms and rain, like 90%, so. Yeah, not a good day. I would consider if it was sunny, but I saw the forecast tomorrow raining, so it's a no-go for me. Man living in is something like that to be honest no squeaking floors the water is probably working unlike in the Victorian houses when you are having showers somebody in the kitchen is watching washing dishes uh, you get the shock of your life with cold water <laughs> without any warning so especially in the winter time that's enough for a heart attack it's very bad even now it's bad in the summer but winter time oh my god
but the squeaky floors are unfortunate. I would love to do some exercising where I live, even just to lie down on the floor and do some abs or some st static lunges or something. You know, I'm not talking jumping, just static, holding in position, but the floor squeaks even if I shift, if I, even if I'm standing up and just shift my weight a tiny bit, the floor squeaks and the person living underneath me hears everything and he's not very patient <laughs> with people living there. A few people left because of his uh, unreasonable behavior. So... So I'm trying to be as careful as possible, but you know, the floors are rid ridiculous. I can literally do seesaw in one spot. The, the wooden planks literally go, you know, <laughs> seesaw. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The quality is so bad there. This must be like the worst place I've I've lived I've ever lived when it comes to the floor quality. A lot of them are squeaky but not like this. I told the man who lives underneath me, you move to my room <laughs> and I'll go to your room and let's see how you like it. <laughs> let's see how you like it. You can't even walk to get your nothing in the room. You have to calculate every move. You have to calculate every step. It's crazy. Luckily, everything is temporary. Nothing is gonna last forever. When I accepted that room, I thought it's gonna be for a short time. And then I'll move somewhere else. But I got kind of stuck in there a little bit. So you, you get used to places, you know what I mean? Very nice. I like. <laughs> so we are outside of the box park, Shoreditch High Street. It's kind of dead here. It's too early, it's too hot. I need to start swimming again. I think that's the biggest luxury in London for me. I don't think there is anything that would make me feel better than swimming in London. Once you swim intensively for an hour, uh, you feel like you're very nice. Very nice. I like wow, 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 wow. Oh, I love Borat and Sasha Baron Cohen.
so yeah I was talking about swimming I need to find some swimming pool near me and some quiet times because usually the swimming pools in, in England in London are so crowded we are literally hitting each other as we speak as we swim I'm not used to this When I was growing up, we had a massive pool, everybody had space, I could swim, you know, on my back. Uh, you know, I didn't have to care who is where for most of the time. But here, I love swimming on my back as well. It just feels incredible. But I don't want to kill half of the people in the, in the pool, so it's a little bit tricky. But if I ever catch a quiet day when I'm alone in the lane or just two people or something, me and somebody else, oh my gosh, I'm going to enjoy it. It's money well spent. Honestly, nothing, nothing, nothing makes me feel better in London than swimming. I haven't been in years. Look at this building here. I would love to live here. I like the look of it. Like the windows. They have nice curtains and, and a little sauna <laughs> on a hot day now. If you are sitting there behind the window, oh my gosh, must be hot. But looks nice, nice and clean. Looks gorgeous. I love it. called 100 oh, it's a hotel oh it's a hotel it's called 100 shortage I see I thought it was flat oh, you probably can't see but lovely chonky monkey kebabs I still can't. I still can't get over uh, how bad the kebabs were in uh, Turkey. Turkey is famous for kebabs, and the worst kebabs ever in my life were in Turkey. The best ones are in London. I'm pretty sure Germany has good kebabs. Somebody was commenting, you know, lots of Turkish people there, so. 
hopefully they make it nice in Taksim Square in uh, Istanbul you, you can't even get salt in there it's very bad I mean you can but it, I'm trying to say they make it very fast congratulations <laughs> enjoy had to learn how to say salt because trying to signal with my hands you know salt like you use your fingers like you are gonna put salt on something they would not understand they would say ketchup you want ketchup when I'm trying to <laughs> use my fingers you know like for, for salt something like that you want ketchup so I had to learn it's called tuz <laughs> tuz is salt in Turkish and yeah I had to ask I love salt I'm putting extra salt on everything and the kebabs were not salty enough so or any food when we were out so I had to ask for salt a lot because it's not a standard for them to have salt on the table like you would have in every restaurant you know for some reason I don't know why but like literally 80% 90% of the places that I went to, they had zero salt on the table, which is quite unusual, I, I thought. And when I tried to ask for it, they, they acted surprised, like, oh my God, nobody ever asked for salt. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Mr. Fossey is the wit witness, witness, yeah. He saw it happening. <laughs> since we were eating together most of the time. tattoo place oh the amount of time the amount of times I considered having tattoo since while traveling you know all my friends everybody has tattoos there uh, it was hard to resist but I never I never get one and I'm happy now geez very happy going on here because some of the some of the tattoos especially on a on the forearm you know like a wolf a girl a wolf whatever that was or whatever palm trees they had and all sorts of tattoos it looks so amazing especially when fresh so and it looks so cool but looking, you know, like speaking from this point of view, thank God I didn't do it. If I was fit, that would be one thing, but because I'm chonky monkey, 
with 33 double chins, no sorry, 72 double chins right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. might have to go back to be honest I'm just talking talking and I skipped my turning in the middle of nowhere guys sorry not much is happening here we are heading to Hoxton Square I wish I left my house earlier. I would go, I would have gone to somewhere to a park, you know, like Hyde Park or somewhere more nature and lakes and stuff like that. But here we are <laughs> exploring Hoxton and Hoxton Square.
Do you guys like this area? I've been here like once, like for a night out a long time ago when I was working for uh, Ludlow, Ludlow Thompson Estate Agency in Finsbury Park. The company kind of took us here. I don't know, I'm, I'm not a fan, guys. I'm not a fan of this area too much. I don't know. I don't like going out. That's, that's the thing. That was long time ago, long time ago. And I don't go to bars. I don't. Sp I don't spend any money on alcohol. I don't go out at all, zero, ever. I was only introduced to pubs by Mr. Fossey while we were traveling. You know, we had no kitchen in our hotels, so we had to go to Weatherspoons to eat some chicken or whatever. You know, pub food. So that was literally the only times in my life that I started to go to pubs for food. Otherwise, extremely rarely. Okay, I see some action there. <laughs> It's quite lively in there, you probably can't see. How do we get there to check it out? It's locked up. Wow, Friday is dead here, guys, like Friday afternoon. It's good to know I'm never gonna come back here at this time. I think Thursday potentially could be busy, I know, for a pub scene, what do you say? But it's a hot day. I somehow thought, you know, people would be out after work in this area as well. It's it's a it's a ghost town. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, walking around here in the heat. Only I can do stupid stuff like this. Thirty degrees, and here we are. <laughs> in empty in empty concrete jungle Selenium, yo. looks like i won't be able to access that busy place i don't know how they got there but it's all locked up here who knows oh that guy has some kind of Maybe he can tell me. Oh, he's going away. Yeah. I can hear music coming from there. That's where the action is. But anyway, check out this house, 1896. National Center for Circus Arts. What? National Center for Circus Arts. Now I've seen it all. But you know what, boys and girls, because it's so hot, I will have to close this video because if I keep on recording, it's gonna just die and I'm gonna lose all the footage because it's very hot. So thank you so much everybody for watching. Please press the like button, please subscribe. And I'm gonna start a new video from here. Thank you so much, take care, bye.